one owner car guy and what I got here is a beautiful 1996 Buick Roadmaster collector's edition. I believe this is the last year model and that's why the collector's edition. Um, it is the 350 big fuel injection got the right stuff great miles per gallon fuel economy. It's a one owner car. Um, as you know if you're subscribed I do love my one and two owner maintained classics and stuff they didn't make as many of and just something peachy clean you know this car fits the bill here it's a beautiful car but do the once around show you everything as usual trying a new camera here I think as a bunch of people have suggested I burned up my camera my other one I've burned up quite a few lately uh, the cheaper ones aren't doing it for me so word on cameras and this car I'm gonna do the complete walk around and then I'll go ahead and go up close and show you any um, dings, dents, any little minor damage that I see on it and I put cap rotor distributor on the car that was why the guy that had it had got rid of it and they gave him a huge price because the way this car is set up it's a hard item to uh, replace a lot of labor and I got that done and it runs great um, I love these big 350 road cars like this the Roadmaster the Roadmaster and the Fleetwood for me are quite a toss-up because these are a little smaller and I do like it although I like the bling of the caddy stuff don't break on these like the caddies and it's a lot more durable probably a better car um, God I like the Cadillacs too <laughs> um, so that's your once around and all that oneownercarguy.com I'm gonna go up now close to show you anything I'll go on a test drive with you too um, I'm gonna do all that um, this may be one of my last videos I do up here in my normal spot and I'll talk a little more about it I'm sure here but check out my channel I just uploaded a big old news flash and you might want to check it out fifth lot this one's huge it was an old new car dealership and a new car dealership's gone and we're there so looking at this let me get this off my neck a little bit of stress mark there like he almost got something caught in the door or something uh, as far as the rest all your chrome's clean all along the sides that's what it was I knew there was a rub tiny rub I like to find this kind of stuff anything it's an older car you know there's something wrong I love to see this a little scratch that the old guy chipped up Excuse me, a little scratch that the old guy patched up. This here, oh, a door edge guard was on there, and it came. He has it on. Well, chrome door edge guard. Paints in good shape. There is a tiny ding and a tiny ding. There, there. Hard to see. Sorry, new camera, and I'm not really focusing it where I'm looking. I'm gonna have to pay attention. And there's a tiny ding somewhere right here. Um, tires, Kelly's beautiful tires um, I'd say they have about 60% tread or so underneath the car as nice as it gets hoping it's not too dark for you to see the clean tranny pan beautiful clean California floor pans and I come down here from Montana to buy all these simply because everything's so clean and you get highway look at these um, I don't even know what they're called. Hopefully I have more sun on the inside. This stuff's clean. It's highway miles and stuff. A little bit of crinklage right there. Just the bumper foam. Oh, let's get under here. That's still there. Amazing. It usually gets all knocked off. Underneath. It's nice. It's clean. It's been maintained. You can tell. Light. Stress marks right there. Right around this. This has a little crack in the plate holder. Buick on the plate holder, that's pretty cool. Light stress marks. Tiny bit of little thing. He even touched that up. Yeah, he touched it up a little. I love to see that. Somebody loved their car. I mean, this guy paid the big money for it. This was what it was back in the day. This is what you wanted. It's what you want now, too. Um, you know, this has got a good year, and the other's got, I think I got three good years in a Kelly. Um, little specs for the armor hole. Beautiful car. And some of these little stripes there in the setting. Um, this right here. 
don't leak or nothing. It's just got that little chink in the glass. How was that? Ka-chink or something. A little spot right there. I could get that color matched and whatever for you if you wanted. I didn't do nothing to it, man. It ain't been all cut into or wrecked or nothing. It's a straight car. Um, so I didn't want to get paint on it or nothing. Um, teeny chip. Teeny, teeny. Teeny scratchy thing. That there's cool. That's what was on the other side right there. Um, tiny mark. Oh, reflection. Yeah, there's an X marks spot in my other video. Most coolest video I think I've ever done on here. It is definitely big news for me. I've not had this big a news in like forever. Oh man, there you go. Very clean. Not all messed up or nothing. I'm sure if you get under there, you'll find a damn gasket in this one. It does not leak all over the place. There's no big leaks or anything like that. It's clean. Whoever had this, they painted it, took care of it. Light stress marks there. No different. It's how you clean car. Very good. Okay, that's a round. Man, it's straight too. Little teeny scratches right there. I want you to see that. A little. That was a bug. I was backing up pretty fast to have a bug smashed on the back of my car. A little tiny scratch there I'm trying to think of while I talk about the bug. And there was a couple little kind of walking in the garage and first with your pant leg or something scratch type small things on it. Roof is beautiful. Reflections everywhere, man. Oh, yeah, that's right. You touched that up. I'm sure glad I seen that little scuff right there. And you touched it up with some paint right like that. Can't really see it, and you, you almost miss it, but I definitely want to be honest and straightforward. I'm glad the shadows came in too. Show me that. And that one I almost forgot about. And tiny. We're talking tiny. You, you got to get up on it to see it, but I want you to see it. Collector's edition. Yeah, baby. We'll show you that. There's a few little tiny, almost unnoticeable. In the light, it's unnoticeable almost. In the shadow, you can just see them if you look really close. And I'm, the camera's a foot, of, nine inches away. So, look at that. I don't know, but whatever it is, it comes off with a little white speck. Okay, that is your once around, your twice around. I'm going to talk to you for a second and do another half around because the lighting changed and get you some reflective. Check out my channel, my other video. I'm telling you, I got a huge place opening up. The place holds 150 cars. Big under. It was the old Rambler dealership. If you're into old cars, it's just cool to see an old Rambler dealership built in the late 50s. Um, first one in San Diego, from what I was told or remember here and pretty cool place man and comment like tell me about it give me some suggestion if you know how to do computers or you know how to do something call me up come to work okay test drive and then everything should be good for the um, interior when I get back now that's not too much of a mess I've been driving this for about three days since I got back Never Sold my, yeah, it's good. I just got this in there. Thank goodness. Sold my BMW 740 and beautiful car. This is too, but I think it's a better on fuel. And I'm a little better at not getting on it as much. This car fires up, runs, drives. Every time I do this, then it's like vapor locked or something it doesn't start the same nice way but I want to show you the outside I mean I'm telling you it's nice concert sound and it all is all good and I didn't yeah it's all both sides they just when they are doing my see I like to show you that everything works 
and they were doing my detail, they'd flip all the buttons on me. I'm telling you, a quarter pedal, not even, and next thing you know, you're going 30, 35. The car floats down the road. I've had a lot of wagons, brakes in these, the uh, big combi estate, whatever you want to call them. My goodness, it's different in everywhere you go. I like them. I like the big wagons. It's hard to beat one of these sedans. It really is. Oh man, see I'm fingering the lens there. I'm sorry about that. Like I say, new camera. It's a good car. Wish, you know, I get to where I wish I could keep this or that. Man, ain't no reason to sell this. I don't know why the old, well, I know why the old guy got rid of it. Man, that's 30 just like with the, I didn't go half metal. You don't want a floor to this. It's like a Corvette. You need it to be on the freeway. Get on an on-ramp. But the old guy took care of it. He got rid of it because of a huge bill. And I, I know the guy was quoted 800 bucks or so, or more. And I like tinkering around on things. So, like I say, new distributor, cap, rotor, wires, plugs, you name it, you name it, you name it, you name it, you name it. You know, I'm gonna pull in this way, get you yet another view. Now, I don't know how long this video records for on this one because of the time and all that, but we're going to have to hurry. Little stains of such, like you spill the coffee on it or something, on the seatbelt. Okay. No it's in there, but I want to show you everything. Yes, I do. This under. There's your owner's manual. And it's all good. It's all there. Fine isn't broken or nothing. <laughs> He's keeping them on there. Bet you old boy changed them to the same place. Do it 113, 937 on 10, 20, 11. It's overdue! But not on the miles. 111, this thing is, is that right? Let's see. I could cheat, I'm gonna cheat. I got it. There you go, 111. Jeez, I don't know about this camera. There you go, 111, 584. Used to my next five, that'd be perfect. Had insurance through Sony. They replaced it. They were going to replace it for free. Couldn't find it. Couldn't find the parts to fix it. So they issued me a complete refund. Best camera I ever had. And to top it off, Sony takes care of you. Best company I've ever bought a computer or anything from. You, Sony. I love them. This is a Nikon. We're trying it out. They're good too, I hear. I've had a few. We have a dust side. And I don't get the full details, the full feet or details. I don't have a retail lot. What? Yes, I do. Check out the video of it. Power controls. Um, the passenger mirror, the up and down, you have to do manually. I think the um, it's off the little ball in back of it. How am I going to do this? This is a new place here. Show you the seats. And I'll just start going around. The seats are in great shape. Carpets are in good shape here. All your pedals, hardly any, any pedal wear. This is just the old floor mat I have in here. It's not the right one. Little things I'm sure you could shampoo out. I don't do shampooers. Every time my people do shampooers, they close the doors up, my headliners drop, cost me 180 to 250 bucks. I hate it. So I don't do it. A shampoo place does much better than me. Little wear right there. Little wear right there. Well, like you had keys or something, I'm starting it, I was rubbing it. Back seat, like I say, it doesn't look like it used it. And also, like I say, it looks like on that seat belt. Oh boy, spilled his coffee and it went right down there. I've never done that in my car. Oh no, no, no. It's a beautiful car. If you're looking for this vintage, Heck, if you're looking for any vintage of a Buick Roadmaster, I do think this is the one for you. It's absolutely beautiful. My ex-wife is four foot ten, 
so you can see how when I focus it down, this seat's up all, awfully long ways. Um, there's a huge amount of room whether they're up all the way or not. Wheels on this car are just pretty sweet. The Roadmaster Collector Edition with the little drop-down body fender flare over it, and the chrome rocker panels going down the side. It looks good. And that was this, of course. The key fob opens it. I do not have the spare on here. I can get you one really cheap. It's not a problem. It does have the jack there. Pause this and look up some of your build codes if you wanted. And, you know, this here, I didn't get out of shoe to pick it off. I didn't want to pick through the carpet. Um, this here, I'm sure you could shampoo. I didn't shampoo it. This car is in great shape. Door panels, I think I showed you the other ones there. Beautiful. Backs of the seats. I mean, it's a great car. Check out that new video on my channel. Big old car dealership gonna fill up with big old Roadmasters and Fleetwoods and Mercedes Benz S classes and the SLs and E's and Porsches, 944s, 920. Not the new junk. We don't want no new junk. We're looking for the real stuff. And we're gonna put this seat down a little bit. There we go. And Dash is beautiful in the car. Show you in there. Oh, a little bit of wear on the uh, plastic chrome trim there. Not only that, you got the and that's your once, twice, three times around. My name is Nathan. It's four zero six five four four six nine one nine. You can reach me anytime. Look at that, man. Look at that, man. It's beautiful. It really is. If you're looking for a clean, well-maintained Buick Roadmaster, then here you go. This is it. You don't need to look no more. You can call me. 406-544-6919. I always get this kind of stuff in and always have clean one and two on it. Especially these 350, 305 and stuff. Chevy. This is a 350 with the port fuel injection, baby. This is the one you wanted. It's the last, most powerfulest, best with all the bugs worked out, somebody took care of. Get yourself a Chilton's Haynes a Chevy manual. You can still work on this. That's all there is to it. There's your proof, 5.7 here. Not some stupid 5.0, which are fine. They do better on gas. Eh, it depends. I don't know. A mile or two a gallon? Look at the size of that car. Let's get my water out of the way. Thanks for watching. You have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Make sure to comment, like my video. I like if you like my video. And um, give me a call. Buy this car if you want it. Thanks for watching. We will see you soon. Will we see you? No, we won't see you. But we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.